There are some serious concerns tonight involving the Harpeth River. Two environmental groups say that sometimes in the summer, the river is 90% treated wastewater. Now, that's not the only pollution concern either. And tonight, those groups say three sewage treatment plants are responsible. Fox 17 Sky Arnold has this story. Even when the river is empty, Doreen Bowles sees something priceless. It's basically everybody's sort of wilderness spot right behind their backyard. But what if that wilderness spot is sometimes 90% treated wastewater? Bowles' group, the Harpeth River Watershed Association, says that's sometimes the case downstream of Franklin. It's why they're sending these letters, blaming not only Franklin's sewage plant, but also Barry's Chapel and Cartwright Creek of polluting the Harpeth River. We really have got to get those facilities to meet their permits. We really do. The letters detail nearly 1,500 violations over the last five years, like the ammonia discharges at Franklin's plant in June of 2010, January of 2012, October of 2012, and June of 2013. And the letters are more than just complaints. By sending them, these groups are serving notice to these facilities that they plan to take them to federal court if something isn't done. We work very hard to be in compliance. The vast majority of the time, we are. Franklin City Manager says many of those violations are the result of someone else dumping into the system. He says the problems were addressed quickly. And in that same five-year period, there have been no enforcement actions on us where they've identified error, very serious errors or fined us or done anything of that nature. Still, Bowles sees real problems here. It could put this wilderness spot in danger. You can get fish kills if it gets very severe, but the bottom line is river doesn't meet standards. In Franklin, Sky on it, Fox 17 News. The Harpeth River Watershed Association wants these facilities to pump more of that treated wastewater into places other than the river. Franklin says it's already doing that, and we'll have that part of the story tonight at 10 o'clock.